So within this database we found no association between uh, acute or chronic GVHD of any grade and subsequent relapse after the transplant. Congratulations. You. Your abstract was selected to the Presidential Symposium at this EBMT 2019 Congress held here in Frankfurt. Uh, for decades we've been struggling with this issue of uh, GVHD versus GVL. And you have revisited this question in the setting of haplotransplant. Can you please tell me a little bit more about what you did? Yes, so we analyzed within the database of the Acute Leukemia Working Party of the EBMT the association between GVHD and uh, GVL after haploidentical, T-replete haploidentical transplant with post-transplant cyclophosphamide. So the association between GVHD and uh, GVL is well known, but there is scarce data on the haplo setting. And, and these were haplo transplant with post transplant Only cyclophosphamide. With post transplant cyclophosphamide. So within this database, we found no association between uh, acute or chronic GVHD of any grade and subsequent relapse after the transplant. However, acute GVHD grade three and four and extensive chronic GVHD were associated with higher non-relapse mortality after the transplant and lower leukemia-free survival. So altogether, it seems that GVHD offers no advantage to the patient and should be avoided, uh, if possible, after a haplotransplant. But this is very puzzling. So you're suggesting that we are having the harm of GVHD without any benefit. It's not that there is no additional benefit. I mean, there is, it's probably a quantitative issue. So when you have GVHD, you already have the GVL and the addition effect of GVHD is, has no additional effect on prevention of relapse. This is very important because uh, usually we always discuss with our patient and we try to tell them, well, you know, GVHD is bad, it's worsening your quality of life, but you know, at the end of the day, you will have some benefit with this uh, leukemia control over the long term. Yes, so the biology of the haplotransplant with post-transplant uh, cyclophosphamide is still not well understood. And in this setting, this is not the case. I mean, the, the GVHD does not offer any advantage here to the patient. Well, that's really good news. So we have to work hard to, to prevent GVHD. Absolutely. Yes. Well, congratulations again and well done. Thank you, Dr. Marty. EBMT TV is brought to you from the 45th annual meeting of the EBMT in Frankfurt, Germany. For more like this, then you can click on some of these great videos. And don't forget to subscribe for more of the best in medicine, from cell therapy to gynecology, from genetics to psychology.